Hello learners. Let us now discuss about measures of dispersion. So in the last video, we have discussed on measures of central tendency. So now, before that, we should understand what is meant by dispersion. Right? Say for example, you are given a series of data and someone is asking you to find out some interesting information about the given data. What do you do now? You may find out mean, you may find out median, you may find out mode. Right? So that is what we have discussed in the last video. Anything else? Or the central tendencies, the only way using that we can get to know about the observation? Not really. Right? So let us now discuss about dispersion. Dispersion, which is nothing but variability of data, which is nothing but spread of the data. So here we will try to understand about range, variance and standard deviation. So first of all, what is meant by range? Range is nothing but the difference between maximum value and minimum value. So there is a series of data, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what is the maximum value? That is 5 and the minimum is 1. So 5 minus 1 is equal to 4, which is nothing but the range here. Let us now try to understand about variance. Again, variance is a measure of dispersion. It is also spread of numbers in a data set. So for the variance, we can find out for population variance and also sample variance. What is population variance? Variance of all the members of a group. What is sample variance? Whenever the population size is larger, we can take a subset of data, which is nothing but sample from the population and we can find out the variance of that sample, which is basically called a sample variance. So what's the formula to calculate variance? Sigma square is the notation to represent variance, which is equal to summation of x minus mu the whole square divided by n. Right, so number of observations in the population and sample variance is represented as S square, which is equal to summation of X minus X bar the whole square divided by N minus 1. Let me repeat it. This is individual value of X. Population mean number of observations in population. Individual values of X and this is sample mean and this is the number of observations in sample. Let us now understand this with the help of a problem. So x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. x bar is say for example, uh, if you find out the mean of this data, definitely we would be getting the mean as 3. Right? So these are the given observations. I'm finding out the mean of it. So when I get the mean, I'm getting the mean as 3. Right? So that is the one I have written over here. And then the formula says that I'm finding sample variance means summation of x minus x bar the whole square divided by n minus 1. So how many observations are there? 5 observations. So 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 and x minus x bar the whole square. So let me find out x minus x bar. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. 3 minus 3 is 0. 4 minus 3 is 1, 5 minus 3 is 2. So let us square it now. So minus 2 the whole square is 4. This becomes 1, 0, 1 and 4. So when you add 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. So 10 divided by number of observations minus 1, which is basically 4, which is equal to 2.5. So, in case if we find population variance for the same problem, what we will do? Like we get the same observation. Instead of uh, 4, we will divide it by n, right? So, that is the formula for population variance. You can see we have to divide it by capital N, right? So, once I divide it by 5, 
the answer is 2. So the next one is about standard deviation. What is meant by standard deviation? Standard deviation is the statistic which measures dispersion relative to its mean. So which is nothing but the square root of variance. So if you take the first problem, there we got the variance as 2.5. So standard deviation is equal to square root of 2.5. In the second problem, we got uh, the variance as 2. So standard deviation is equal to root 2. Right? So the point that has to be remembered is variance is the square of standard deviation or standard deviation is the square root of variance. So if you have any questions, let me know so that I would be able to help you. Thank you.